Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore creative and innovative Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. I'm your host, Jennifer Gianni, and today we're looking at building your third chakra energy. Our first and second energy centers are mostly about the physical world, creating safety in the tribe and safety in personal relationships. In short, that we have our basic needs met and loved ones that help us to accomplish that. Our third chakra energy is dual in a huge transition. The third chakra is about relating to and understanding oneself, building self-esteem and honing our intuitive ability. We care less about what others think and more about what we think, feel, and sense about ourselves. The gravitational center of our first and second chakra can be thought of as outside of our bodies. The third chakra gravitational center is mostly an internal one. We start to consciously take note of how the outside world feels, changes, and impacts us on an emotional and mental level. We learn to pay attention. This is of the utmost importance for the teacher. We can't really expect to impact and help change in our clients if we have not done the hard work ourselves. The tough part of this is that wanting to begin the process of change is usually always accompanied by resistance, fear, and being uncomfortable. A lot of us abort the mission of true change because the fear of failure is just too intense. We as teachers have to become comfortable with being uncomfortable when it comes to ourselves and our clients because this is the transition to change. This is a huge topic that we will be covering in, a, in our bigger upcoming workshop, but here is a beginning thought. Be the change that you want to see in your clients. Figure out what tunes you. This will build self-esteem, the power of self-sufficiency, and responsibility. This could change day to day, week to week, or month to month. For example, I am tuning my body these days through a sequence that I created called fishtail footwork. So to be able to tune my body, I have to have some information about my body. So that goes along with paying attention to my body, right? And so I know that this right leg of mine does not like to be in extension, right? So my push-off leg here on the right, it doesn't enjoy this. And so I want to find a way, a tuning way, to, to create some adaptability of my hips in this position and my rib cage. So I'm sending my right foot back and my left foot forward, and you can see that I don't have much room between my feet, right? And so I'm simply gonna step forward and I'm putting lots of weight and pressure down into the ball of my foot in the back with my heel lifted, and then I just roll to the back and I lift my front foot. Now, this alone is just really nice for my body, just rocking forward and back. So the next part of this, right, and there's actually more to this, but the next part that I'm going to give you is a little bit of rolling through the ribs. So I have this sensation that my feet are opening up into the floor, supple ankles, supple knees, supple hips. That's really, really important. So I feel grounded, but not rigid. And so here in my front, I'm doing a little dolphin dive over, and I'm doing this from my rib spine and trying to let my head and shoulder girdle arms be carried along. And I'm going into a transition between the side bend into my upside down ab curl, side bend, and into my arch. And now I'll show you the really important position of this whole thing. So this one, when I come around to this side, right, right before I side bend, this is a really important position because it's filling up this right side of my rib cage and it's rotating my rib cage to the left here, which it doesn't get very often. And then I can sit here, breathe, make sure I'm not getting too rigid or bound up into this right hip, talk to the bottoms of my feet, and this is wonderful for me to stay in this position just for a few breath cycles and then come out of it. And so it's really nice, and this is what helps me to build my third chakra energy, to find things that help to tune my body, that I can take care of myself, 
I'm self-sufficient and I'm responsible for myself and my own healing. That's it for today. If you have an observation or a question you'd like to see answered in an upcoming episode, comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or the forum on our site. See you next time and never stop learning. Yeah.